It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of our dear Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for his church. And this Signs of the Last Days ministry is here watching with you and praying with you as we declare the biblical signs of what is really happening in the world today. That is the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of Christ Jesus the Lord. So people can get ready now for when Lord Jesus appears for his church. Thank you so much for being a part of this Signs of the Last Days Church community, praying and giving to support this ministry to be here. There's been news where the Supreme Pontiff of Rome, the leader of the world church, has turned on Israel as the Pope has condemned Israel saying that Israel is immoral in its actions in the Middle East. As now the greatest leader of world ecumenical religion has also joined with the nations of the world government in denouncing and turning against Israel. And it is prophesied for the last days in the Holy Bible Scriptures that world government and world religion will join together in turning on Israel, bringing in the end time. As the Pope of Rome was traveling from Belgium back to the Vatican City on his recent trip, he was asked by the media about the killing of the terrorist leader of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, by Israel. And he was asked if Israel had gone too far with Lebanon and Gaza. And then the pontiff pontificated with him saying that the defense must always be proportionate to the attack. As the Pope then described Israel's killing of the terrorist leader as immoral and disproportionate. And he said that when something is disproportionate, that it goes beyond morality. And Francis said that a country that does these things, referring to Israel, he said these are immoral actions. And previously, the Pope had already been critical of Israel's war against Hezbollah in Lebanon, with him calling the IDF airstrikes there as a terrible escalation that he said was unacceptable as the Pope of Rome completely ignored the truth that it was Hezbollah who had attacked Israel on October 8th and since then has fired over 8,000 rockets, missiles, and mortars into Israel, killing both Israeli civilians and soldiers. And he also ignored that Hezbollah attacks have displaced nearly 100,000 Israeli citizens who had to flee for their lives, losing their homes in northern Israel from the constant barrage of rocket attacks by Hezbollah, which made them refugees in their own country. To the Roman Pope, he did not consider the Israeli lives, the Israeli homes, and the Israelis' territory of importance in his consideration as the Pope of Rome has also turned on Israel, calling Israel an immoral country for defending its people and defending its territory from a terrorist leader and terrorist army who had attacked them and who through many years have killed many Israelis and Americans as well. And it's not just the Pope individually throwing Israel under the bus. Also the Holy See the central papal government of the Vatican over the worldwide Roman Church, the Cardinal Secretary of State of the Holy See. He also condemned Israel for their operations in Gaza and Lebanon, with the Holy See saying that Israel's operations were not proportionate and that they were outraged over the carnage that they said was being caused by Israel as they made a clear and unreserved condemnation of Israel, even at the point saying that it was not war by Israel, but was terrorism by Israel. And then also, there's the world church, who also has joined together in supporting the Pope against Israel. As the general secretary of 
the World Council of Churches, also condemned Israel's attacks on both Lebanon and Gaza. And they called for the prioritization of the safety of the people of Gaza and of Lebanon, while not calling for any concern for the people of Israel, who were the ones that were attacked by Gaza and Lebanon. And now, this world religion leader of the Pope and the papal government of the Vatican and the ecumenical world church have all now joined together as one with the nations of the world government, with them all turning against Israel as the Pope of Rome, the Vatican City of Rome, and the world church, together with the nations of the world government of the United Nations. They are overwhelmingly together condemning Israel as they are making Israel an outcast. They are making Israel as a pariah nation state that is rejected and despised for defending themselves and defending their territory when they have been savagely attacked. And this is the growing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies of the Holy Bible scriptures, which foretold that world government and world religion together will turn against Israel in the last days. And the signs are now abundant that the prophecy is happening as the world is reeling like a drunk man over Israel. The prophecy of Zechariah in chapter 12 describes how that all the nations will begin reeling like a drunk man from a cup of drunkenness over Israel to where they will lay siege against Judah and Jerusalem of Israel. And the signs are clearly showing us that we now live within the prophecy of Zechariah chapter 12. As all the world political and religious leaders are now all drinking the same intoxicating brew and getting drunk together on it to where they are no longer saying things that are based in factual reality but they are reeling and staggering all under the prophetic influence with them all saying the same thing, with them saying that Israel is the problem that must be dealt with. And they are beginning to lay siege to Israel in every way possible. The world media has fully turned on Israel as they overwhelmingly tell their own one-sided created narrative that they have falsely created painting Israel as the aggressor, as they say that Israel is a monster, as they say that Israel is genocidal and attacking innocent people, when in reality exactly the opposite is the truth of what has happened that started this. The world government at the United Nations has drank so much of the intoxicating anti-Israel brew to where they are so drunk on it, to where they have become totally disconnected from reality, becoming a holy anti-Israel organization that supports Hamas terrorists in Gaza and supports Hezbollah terrorists in Lebanon, with it even proven that United Nations staff, United Nations employees were part of the Hamas terrorists that attacked Israel. It was the Hamas terrorists in Gaza. It was the Hezbollah terrorists in Lebanon, which have committed war crimes on Jews in Israel as they murdered Jews in their beds on Sabbath morning and as they made Jews to flee from their homes for their lives as refugees from northern Israel, while the world government at the United Nations completely ignores Israel's obviously serious and legitimate security concerns as the UN of Nations has consistently and continuously passed resolutions against Israel, stripping her of her land, stripping her of her rights, including recently even the right to self-defense. And the world court of the world government of the nations has also turned on Israel as they have charged Israel with genocide, telling that Israel would probably be found guilty of genocide, while they also overlooked that it was Israel that was attacked and suffered war crimes upon their own people. 
and many nations, including such as Canada, Britain, Belgium, and others, have unilaterally turned on Israel as they have imposed trade and military embargoes on Israel. Even the U.S. government has criticized Israel's government and military and has at times threatened to withhold military support from Israel, while at the U.N. they have also abstained from voting, allowing anti-Israel resolutions to pass that they could have vetoed. All the nations are all showing the desire to throw Israel under the bus as the world government of nations are laying siege against Israel in every way they can, just as prophesied in Zechariah chapter 12, as they drink the intoxicating anti-Israel brew of hatred on the Jews of Israel, as they lay siege against Israel in every different way they possibly can. And now, the world religious leader of the Pope of Rome and the Holy See Papal Vatican religious government with the ecumenical world church. They have also turned their backs on Israel, condemning Israel as a violent and immoral nation state while also urging the nations to take action against Israel. Let me be clear. I warn you, last day's church of Jesus, that in this last days, they will all, all of them, turn against Israel, the one named by the Lord God of heaven, the nations, the Pope, the Vatican, the churches, and those that call themselves Christians who are not per the standard of Jesus and his apostles in their Holy Bible preaching. They will all turn, and we are watching it happen before our very eyes, they are all turning against Israel in these last days, both physical and spiritual Israel of the one olive tree of the Lord, as they will say any lie and false accusations, and they will take any malicious action they can against the Israel of the Lord in their efforts in these last days of prophecy to remove the true testimony of the Lord in the earth. And we must stay clear-eyed and laser-focused on what thus saith the word of God given by the Lord. The end time prophecy of Zechariah chapter 12 is now coming to pass before our eyes. Wherefore the world government of nations and the world religion of the Pope, the Vatican and the churches Israel has now become a heavy burden, like a heavy stone that they want to throw away, but they are cut by it when they try to do so. As the holy Bible prophecies of the last days are being fulfilled, and the last days prophecies in the holy Bible foretell in the Revelation as chapters 12 and 13, that there will form a political and religious world government that joins together, which will betray Israel, as described in the Daniel chapter 9 and chapter 11 prophecies, and which will pursue and persecute so aggressively an Israel that stands alone in the end time, that the Lord Jesus Christ with his saints will return to earth to save the remnant. And right now, the signs are happening that the Pope of Rome and the Papal Holy See of the Vatican and the World Church are joining with the nations of world government and turning against Israel, just as Holy Bible prophecy foretold would happen in the last days. And these signs and events and conditions that are happening now are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last days prophecies at the end of this age that are revealing it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus commanded that we must in John chapter 3 verses 3 through 5 as his apostles that he authorized and sanctioned preached how in the acts of their preaching in the acts of the apostles in chapters 2 chapters 8 chapters 10 and chapters 19 
And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of Lord Jesus and his chosen apostles actually in their Holy Bible Scriptures, you can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org, dot O-R-G. And down at the very bottom in the footer and small print, you'll find our email address. Just email us with the name of your town, your state, and also don't forget your zip code with your requests, and we'll be glad to respond and help you. The prophecies are coming true. The perilous times of the last days are here, and the need is greater than ever before for a prophetic ministry like Signs of the Last Days Ministry that is declaring the path of the prophetic signs from now to the glorious appearance of Lord Jesus. Please support this ministry to continue with your prayers and with your offerings. Thank you for being a part of the prophetic declaration of the great promise of the coming of Christ Jesus the Lord by helping this prophetic ministry to share the signs of Bible prophecy to the world. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our next Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening where we have a prophetic word from the Lord then to share with our last day's church of more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos as we share more prophetic signs of the end time prophecies that are happening now in the world showing that the time for this age is growing short. Signs of the times are everywhere There's a brand new feeling in the air Keep your eyes upon the stars Mm-hmm.